an honor to be here, especially for me as a Lithuanian, and uh, to be proud that Lithuania is hosting uh, such an event. And uh, yeah, today we are talking uh, about uh, environment, how to deal with environment and industry at once. And uh, it's a constant dilemma, environment versus industry. Can we have both of them? And um, in most cases, ecology and business uh, voluntarily are not willing to go hand in hand. And there we have the room for legislators. So starting with the Lisbon Treaty and mentioning Article 11, where um, environmental protection, where it stated that environmental protection should be included to all uh, policies and activities. And um, environmental issues find their way to EU policy areas through the principles of integration. We have lots of discussion in the European Parliament and uh, in the European Union as, as such how to uh, work both and how to find a balance between environmental protection and industry. And uh, we have this strategy, uh, EU 2020, how European Union should look like after now it's uh, after uh, six, uh, seven, six years. And uh, basically what the, the main message of this strategy, at least what we in the Environment Committee see, is that uh, the, the, the main message is green growth, green economic growth. Uh, of course, we are, European Union, while facing economic crisis, uh, raised a lot of questions whether um, green growth it's opportunity or green growth it's restriction for our uh, business and, and industry. And uh, we all know that European Union is a leader in the world, We're talking about environmental, high environmental standards. And again, here we, we can ask ourselves, uh, uh, aren't we putting ourselves in certain cage and losing comp competitiveness in the uh, world market comparing with the, uh, I don't know, countries like China, Brazil, India, where uh, they have different standards and even talking about human rights or um, rights in labor market and especially in this case, environmental standards. So aren't we paying the, the higher price uh, talking about our industry, about our economy, comparing with those other countries. But anyway, we should see, and the, the, I'm agreeing, I, I agree that the, the essence, the, the philosophy we are following should be that uh, green growth is uh, not restrictions, but it's uh, possibilities and new opportunities for our business. And uh, let's take, for example, water. Of course, European Union is, is different and the, the regions are different. And here in the Baltic Sea region, we're not complaining about water resources. But again, uh, not talking about saving water as if we do not have it, but talking about saving water as saving uh, money. So, and, and in a way, resources as well. So this is our uh, opportunities, not only talking about uh, the, the need of water, and, and if, if we wouldn't, wouldn't have this resource or uh, the lack of this resource, so we could uh, we immediately, most probably, would invent something new, some, some new technologies, how to uh, develop this sector. And um, talking about water, so let's relate it to the Baltic Sea, and we all uh, see that the uh, Baltic Sea is suffering. I mean, it's the most polluted sea in the in the European Union for sure, and the most uh, and one of the most polluted uh, seas in, in the world. And uh, we can even see that the citizens, I mean, that the people that are living around the, the sea, with the bare eye that uh, each year the, the the water is blooming, so to say. And if not talking about the resources that we have, talking about fishery policy or, or something else, uh, the, the the people that come to Baltic Sea, they can feel that the um, with their, their own that the, that the, the situation is changing quite rapidly. And um, again, talking about legislation, so and what we can do and how we can uh, have to think in the long term. So the, the current uh, EU legislation is very favorable for uh, environmental policy. And three weeks ago, we adopted in the European Parliament Environment Action Program uh, for 2014 till uh, 2020. Uh, which that the motto is living well within the limits of our planet. And this how we should create environmentally friendly economy. And again, now that the main goals are resource efficient, green, innovative, and competitive low carbon economy. I must say that previously this program was 
more about protecting, and now uh, it's more about integration in other policies and about possibilities of environmental sector, uh, talking about talk, talking together with the economic sector. Uh, this uh, year, recent a few years, were quite difficult talking about uh, MFF and uh, talking about money for for our uh, uh, how shall I say life in the, in the period of of six upcoming uh, years, and we talked a, a lot about agricultural sector, about uh, fishery policies, and again how to find the balance here, uh, environment uh, which should be. Those policies, uh, they should be uh, more environmentally friendly and uh, we should uh, talk more about sustainability and about uh, science-based approach. And um, again, uh, there was a real headache in negotiations even in the European Parliament and again talking with the European Commission and the European Council, for example, taking uh, agricultural sector and this greening instrument. And the farmers were saying that we know perfectly how to deal with our soil and what to grow in our land and how much fertilizers we should use and why you always put the restrictions and then you're, um, how shall I say, harming our work. But again, uh, the, the dialogue is needed and finally next week uh, we are going to vote on uh, this CAP uh, uh, document as well and uh, there is an agreement already. And just very shortly, because I see Mr. Virkina is already showing me two minutes. Uh, in the European Parliament, we are allowed to speak only for one minute, so now I'm taking advantage of <laughs> So um, just uh, naming some areas uh, on, on uh, green, possible green jobs and, uh, I don't know, green uh, way of living. Uh, so uh, waste management. Uh, it should be resource efficient. Uh, European U Union should be based on resource efficiency. And uh, for, for example, talking about waste management, how, uh, what priorities we take, recycling uh, and, and, and um, avoiding uh, uh, waste. But what is the most important thing? That you should be less dependent on the import of expensive raw materials. And now what we are doing, we are recycling quite uh, um, a little part of small amount of of, uh, of waste we're selling it to the third countries and then again buying uh, from them those uh, this raw material uh, again talking about uh, biodegradable waste uh, so when we complain about fuel prices we are not using this uh, sector enough. If talking about energy again uh, we adopted energy efficiency uh, directive uh, uh, renovation, uh, house renovation uh, programs, energy savings in electronic devices, uh, higher level of renewables in energy mix, and again mentioning 2020-20 uh, goals where again going to more green uh, Europe, we create uh, uh, more jobs. But of course what is the most important is it's money. And I want just to mention a few figures that uh, for upcoming period, uh, uh, with the Horizon program, uh, the, the money that would be meant for uh, eco-friendly initiatives, it's uh, around 70 billion euros, and for eco-innovation projects, it's uh, 31 million. And um, if, if con considering uh, investments, so it's, it's counted that uh, investing one euro, the, the benefit, the, it gives back 20 euros. And um, I think that all politics should bring benefits for people, and uh, ben those benefits might be economical, and those benefits might be uh, talking environmentally. And I think that the most important is for people to realize how they affect uh, and uh, the, the, the environment and to work this educational job. And I will end with the, the example of my little nephew who his parents always say that you should turn off the light when you go out of, of, of your room. And if not, and he's asking oh, why, and, because, and they, they say that if, if not, you know, that the climate change is ongoing and the <laughs> ice is melting and one day it will reach Kadaini, the, the sea, the, 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 the middle town, uh, the, the town in the uh, middle of Lithuania. And once there was a huge rain 
and uh, nearby where my nephew was playing, there was a huge pit and it immediately was full of water. And he ran home crying and saying, oh my God, the, the flood is coming, the climate change is really <laughs> out I there. And now, and now, and now he always switch off the, the light. And I think maybe it's too scary for children, you know, to, to, to tell stories uh, like that. But I think that it builds understanding why we should uh, choose, uh, in this case, uh, a, a green economy and green growth economy. Thank you.